Hello again. So today we're going to make a necklace very similar to this. When we were working with the hot glass, I was making these beautiful Nautilus shapes. And you saw how I cut the glass and I would fire polish the ends, which I actually haven't shown you yet, to make these center tubes. This is sterling chain. I buy beautiful beads and I drill the centers of the beads so that they can accommodate the chain. So the next necklace, I've got my pieces all figured out and I'm going to drill some of these beads. So in order for the beads to be able to go onto the sterling chain, sometimes I buy something that has too small of a hole, so I have to drill it. I have my trusty drill press here, which is a pretty standard large drill press. I've had smaller ones for jeweler purposes, but you don't really need it. This is just fine. Safety glasses. Hold it really steady. Now, as you can see, I'm kind of at an angle because it's hard to get the bead perfectly flat unless you're drilling right into the very bottom. So you just eyeball it, make sure the drill is going straight through. But you see, I get a really nice, smooth center hole, which will match the sizes of these other ones that I have. Now I'm going to try this really tiny bead. I don't know if this will drill well or not. And that's a better way actually to keep it nice and flat. Some of the acrylic is very hard and then some is actually glass and you can't drill through. All right, that's beautiful. All right, very nice. So now I'm going to have a successful lineup of materials that I will follow a basic pattern that I've found really works well. Just make it in different lengths and different color chains. Be back. <laughs> 